Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Suguru Ghetto, who is he? If you're watching this video, you most likely have the exact same question that I had. I was very confused after the new Jujutsu Kaisen Zero movie, because at the end of the movie, Gojo kills Suguru after being badly hurt by Yuta Okotsu. In the manga, you see the panel of Suguru's dead body, but in season 1, which happened after the movie, Suguru is still alive and well. How can this be? I was lost. I was very confused. Maybe Gojo had not killed his friend, but that's not what was implied in the scene. Well, after reading the manga and doing some research, I finally found out what's going on with Ghetto. First of all, let's take it back to the end of Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, when Gojo kills Suguru. It is true, we do not see it, but Gojo does in fact kill Suguru. The fact that we had not seen the scene where Gojo actually kills Suguru is what kind of left that open interpretation to like, did he survive, did he die? We don't really know. There's not really a confirmation in the, the anime, but in the manga, you can see kind of the panel uh, where this happens. But the thing is, Gojo does not want the higher ups of the Jujutsu world to obtain Suguru's body. So what he does is he doesn't take his body or doesn't destroy his body. He kind of wants him to rest in peace, you know, being friends and all. Ghetto's body ends up being left behind or buried, or I don't know, it wasn't necessarily mentioned, but basically what I'm saying is that the body was left there. So basically, Suguru is dead, Gojo killed him after an intense battle with Yuta. In season one, we see Suguru back alive like nothing happened. Other than a new scar that is on his forehead, he seems to keep going about his plan of killing all non-Jujutsu users. In season one, it is not explained how, what, who, when, why he's alive. However, uh, I mean, they kind of hint at the fact that he's still alive, he's doing his thing, and that he's not a different person. He is actually who he is. So up to season one, we think that Suguru Ghetto is still Suguru Ghetto, and we're not really sure. He might have used a technique or somebody saved him, and that's how he's still alive. Then after that, we kind of have to skip to the Shibuya train incident arc, which is season two, to really get an idea of what is going on with Suguru. As he fights with Gojo and interacts with other people during this arc, everybody who is aware of what happened to Suguru doesn't understand why he's alive or how he's alive. But then finally they come to the conclusion that he's not the real Suguru, but he's only like being controlled or something like that or being manipulated or something like that. But this is only a hypothesis. Nobody has like any concrete proof. However, like I said, this is what most people that are aware of the situation come to this conclusion. During this arc, the season 2 arc, which will come out soon, uh, in 2023, uh, we see a person who uses a jujutsu technique where the person can summon a body and tra transform someone else into that person. We then see the person who was brought back take over the body and come back to life. So you either think now, okay, Suguru was brought back or he's a fake. That's basically the two options that we have. We then see Chozo, the guy who helps Suguru, call Suguru, which ends up being a 150 year old sorcerer. So basically he used a technique to take over Suguru's dead body and gain his power. So as he gained his body when Gojo left Suguru's body behind, uh, he basically was able to access the, the body and while accessing that body, he also has access to all of the powers that come with it, which is good for him because in his plan, he needed these powers to put his plan into motion. So there you have it. Suguru did in fact die, and his body is now being used by some other sorcerer to make his plan a reality. This was certainly something I was not really expecting. However, it does make a lot of sense with the Jujutsu Kaisen lore and all that stuff. So basically, after all that, Ghetto is dead. He is officially dead. He basically was alive from Jujutsu Kaisen Zero to the end of Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. So basically, that's all he was alive for, at least before. And then when we get to season one, Theoretically, it's not Suguru anymore. It's someone else. It's the sorcerer who took over his body. I also have a hypothesis. I, my hypothesis is that also Suguru is going to make a comeback at some point in the series. Because as we see in the manga, if the person's will and feelings can overpower the person who's controlling it, controlling the body, the person is able to kind of come back and take over the body and control his body. So basically what I think at some point during the series... Suguru is going to be able to take over his body, take back what's rightfully his, and 
I'm not really sure what he's going to do with that. Um, maybe he's going to decide to help all the Jutsu Sorcerers. Basically, I think he's going to come back at some point because basically we see as one of the people who was brought back takes over his own body uh, when fighting because of his emotions. And also we see Suguru when interacting with Gojo at some point. We see the real Suguru let out his feelings and talk to Gojo as if he was really there. But in fact, he is dead. So basically, I think that Suguru is going to make a comeback at some point. I don't know when. I don't know how. I do know how. Sorry. I don't know when. But And I don't know how it's going to affect the plot. But I can't wait to see it. So there you have it. Uh, just before the video ends, I'm just going to make a little recap of everything that happened and all the information necessary to understand what the hell happened to Ghetto. So basically, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero comes in the Jujutsu Kaisen timeline before the actual season one. So at the end of the movie, we do in fact see Gojo kill Suguru. So Suguru is dead. Then after that, we see him in season one. He has a new scar on his face, but we know nothing else of that. After that, we skip to the Shibuya train incident arc. And we find out that Suguru is being controlled by somebody else. The name that they give for that person is not the actual name. It's just the name of the person he was controlling. So the actual name of the person is actually Kenjaku, which we find out later. And he is using a, a technique that allows him to possess like bodies and take over their bodies and just change of body when need be and be able to use their powers and all of that stuff. So that's basically just a little recap of all the information that we have as of right now. And that's how basically Ghetto survived even though it's not ghetto. All right, so thank you for watching. I hope that this video was useful and it gave you the information necessary to understand what the hell's going on with ghetto. Uh, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. And if not, well, thank you for watching and I'll see the rest of you next time.